Oh, look what it is. A pet. <laughs> what are you? A human. What are you doing here, human? You don't know. Hmm. So, a crazy butterfly incident? You're chasing it. I'm gonna guess. That wasn't a butterfly. <laughs> no. It was a spirit. It took the form of many different insects. How I know what a butterfly is if I don't know what a human is. <laughs> Good question. It's probably because we have the same insects and the same names for them. I've heard of a human before, I just never saw one. They're kind of fairy tale creatures, and to see one in person is quite odd. <laughs> I'm the odd one. Maybe to you, but here I'm quite heifered. So, um, you've heard of dimensional travel, right? It's quite common here, magic and all, but I don't know about with you humans. From what I hear, your dimension is quite, uh, Unmagical and boring. Oh, yes. Yes, it is very boring. You can't deny it. No magic, just a bunch of machines. You play on them all the time, and. What is it called again? Wi Fi, you say? Yes, Wi Fi. Connects you to a web. Some giant spider puts it together called Google, right? The name of the spider, Google. What is a browser? Google is a browser. I'm confused. Well, yes, uh, there are people who specialize in dimensional travel, but none of them are around here, and I mean, I'm not one of them, obviously. I'm just a normal person, as you can see. I am quite normal, as I said before. <laughs> well, I'm sorry if you aren't used to such a bizarre looking creature, but you look very bizarre to me as well. You can't forget. I'm like you, just on the opposite footing. Why didn't I freak out? Well, I... <laughs> I guess it's because I... I'm used to such strange things. This part of the woods is a little bit more, mm, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not magical. I mean, it, this part of the forest is magical for sure, definitely more, but it's closer to the, mm, there's an access point. I, I have to explain it to you. There's an access point. Um, in our world, it's not the same as yours. It, it pulls in different places, but it's not how we orbit. Like, there's an 
an axis for the way the the world tilts and stuff. It's it's not that. It's it's something else. It's it's like a magnetic pull in two different parts of the world. It's more magical. Where the magic is stronger, way stronger. If you get closer to it, you can use more magic and at a higher rate if you're far away from it. Like in between them, like right in between, it's very hard to use a magic. That's where most of our deserts are. Why did you follow a butterfly again? You're a complete child. You know that, right? What a stupid reason to follow a butterfly. Honestly, you're a mess. Well, since you're such a mess, I think I should help you. <laughs> it's only the right thing to do. You definitely are not in the right state of mind or body, I guess, to be wandering around. There are some people who would definitely freak out if they saw a human. You should follow me. I can call someone who could help you, I think. He's a scientist. He, he lives about I can't really give you a measurement. We don't have the same ones, I don't think. Do you know what a leak is? Uh, no. Not like water leak. Um, it's a measurement. Yeah. No. Yeah, we don't have the same measurement system at all. Um, okay. Uh, I can get him to come down here. Um, he should be able to call somebody a lot more educated in this matter. If you follow me, I can help you for sure. I have a little, a little hut or cottage thing. It's more of a burrow. I have hard, I have a hard time explaining it to people of my world too, so don't worry. Okay, follow me. So, what is your world like? Huh. So, lots of garbage and lots of tall buildings. We have some tall buildings here. Uh, how tall do you say they are, these skyscrapers? Do they really touch the sky? Do they float? No? Then why would you build them? A lot of people. So, is your world extremely overpopulated? Oh. That would explain the amount of Trash, you say you have, huh? <sighs> yeah, I, I don't feel good. Yeah, you're right. Well, I, I don't know what I have. I just get got sick, hey? Okay? What is a flu? 
Is it a disease? An illness of sorts? Huh. What what things happen with this illness? A fever, vomiting, and oh, of course, uh, but extreme. Would you say that you could die from it? Some people. Do you think I have it? I mean, I'm not vomiting or anything. So I'd hope I wouldn't have it. Yeah, I, I probably just have a fever. That's all. Here we are. Yeah, it's little, but it's home. Yeah, yeah. L let me call him real quick. Um, one quick thing. Don't be alarmed with how I call him. It's not like you're machine things yeah, in your world, okay? This might be a bit surprising, <laughs> to say the least, I, I guess. What is it? It's, um... It's a form of magic, of course. You don't want to see it or talk to him? Why? Don't you want to go home? No. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to go home? It's your home, your world. I wouldn't say that my world is interesting or beautiful. Fr frankly, it's, I mean, I guess it, it would be normal for me and not for you. But why would you want to stay? Don't you have family? No. And you? <laughs> well, I can't say that the spirit didn't lead you here for a reason. They have an odd way of bringing things together that you never thought they should be together, but it's fate, you know? Um, it's the best way I can, you know, explain it. Um... What do you want to do? I mean, we have to disguise you a little bit. You're obviously not one of us or uh, any of my species. How many species are there? Do you mean... Um, you mean like sentient beings, um, or race, uh, do you mean race? No, um, different, different types of people. Um, well, yeah, there's, um, there's the aquatic species, they, They live under the water. They're called Geomi. 
and then the land creatures, named the Ubon. They live mostly in the forests. Now, there used to be a sand people. They were called the... What were they called? The Lisse? I can't remember exactly how to pronounce it, but it, it goes along the lines of Lisse. Um, but they went extinct a long time ago. Why? Well, um, since there's so little magic in that area, they didn't really have a way of protecting themselves from the very, very dangerous creatures that live there. And, well, they used to, they used to thrive, but when the water ran out in their areas, uh, in the desert, desert, um, the, the rivers ran dry and such, they, um, they died off. Why didn't we help them? Well, back then, the, the three clans didn't get along. And back then, they were clans. They were not as big as they are now. Um, they're, well, like I said, it was a very, very long time ago. Ancient, ancient times. They say that humans look a lot like them. I mean, of course there are differences. Like what, you ask? Um, well, you humans have different colors to your skin, yes. Um, there are very dark-skinned humans and light-skinned humans. I don't really know how that matters, but, um, <laughs> the sand people, I guess, they had black eyes, very black, and no white, like you, um, their hair, it, uh, do you know what a feather is? Well, I don't know what's on your world. I'm, I'm still learning about you, I guess. But it, since you know what a feather is, they're very soft. Very. Their hair, um, it was silk, almost. With a feather texture. It's the softest. And the noses. They were flat. Why was their hair soft like feather? Well, <laughs> there was something about the way their protein in their hair worked and the way that our magic tainted and m modified our bodies to things. We aren't like humans, we, you, your species, uh, they, from what I know, um, the darker skinned people, uh, their skin and hair protects them from the sun, right? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm very ignorant, uh, of your species. Um, and since there's so much sun in those areas, um, I guess e your hair and skin protected you. Um, but uh, here, the magic, it, uh, it did a part in protecting us. Like their skin. Um, 
the less less on me yeah less on me oh i don't even remember i really need to start studying up again but um they had gray skin and a lot of t- the time it would have a, a golden gr- a golden tint to the gray um they they blended in with the sand well they had some kind of camouflaging technique they used with their magic back then. They, um, they were definitely very beautiful people back in, back in those days, uh, they painted not like extremely detailed stuff on, on sides of stone and my people, my clan, uh, back then we, we painted, um, with oils. We had beautiful side, the, the walls on, on caves, they would be covered in beautiful mosaics depicting what was going on back in those days. Um, but it had pictures of the Lizami. Are you all right? <laughs> you don't have to be asking me if I'm all right. You're the one yawning. I may be sick, but I am not weak. I am very fine just sitting here and talking. I uh, I think you need to rest. I think that you have had enough excitement for today and you don't have to worry about anything going on at night. You're safe. How does that sound suspicious? I give you my word. You will be safe. You humans are so strange. How about I help you um, go to bed? Uh, I can get you a blanket. Um, I have an extra room in my, my den. Um, you can, yes, I just called it a den. I didn't, I really don't know what to call it. A, a hut, a, 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 a den. A, I'm trying to think of human words. I don't know what you call your abodes. A den is... Something that we usually call our homes here. At least my race. Um, You should stop asking questions. You're tiring me out. We can learn more tomorrow. You definitely are not in the state of mind to be doing anything crazy. It doesn't matter if you're excited. If you overexcite yourself, you can get culture shock. Here, I... I'll set up your bedroom. If you'd like, you can sit out here for a while and listen to the animals and the birds. Yes, we have birds here. Probably not at all the same species you have of bird. But we have birds. Just like we have butterflies. Um, I'm going to go get your bedroom ready. Stop distracting me and just sit down and relax for a little bit. I'll be back. I'll be inside, okay? Okay. 
calm down. I'm going to go get those blankets and set up your bed. Hmm. <sighs>